two drivers, both with their championship runs complete. Higgins sealed his title at the penultimate rally. Great to win the championship. Sandell locked up third in the ARX championship just one week earlier. Uh, first time for Subaru up on the podium of an overall championship in rallycross, so I'm super stoked for them. Now, both drivers arrive in Washington State with nothing holding them back. A level playing field. Rally without limits. Bragging rights on the line. It's the final event of the season. And both teams will leave it all on the stages. This is the season six finale of Launch Control. Washington State, where the final battle of the teammates is set to start. This is one of the benefits that the Swedes have, that they are all blonde, so their moustaches don't come through as horrendously as this one. So, uh, so they're already winning so far today, but uh, hopefully we can get our own back on the stages. It's a little fun between the teams after fighting for victories all year. Early Movember, or a tribute to the team's fearless leader, it's a little humor before the final showdown begins. Just looking forward to going out with no pressure. We don't get that very often, to be honest, but normally, you know, even when we've not got the best competition, you've still got the, the pressure that you've got to bring it home for, for the team. So going into off-season now, you want to finish it on a high. So we're up for the final event of this rally season, to the Forest Rally, up here in Washington State. Uh, it will be my third rally this season. Pretty sure David wants to, you know, get back up on the podium. So, and the conditions is really like his type of conditions. It feels like I'm in Wales right now, driving on his backyard. So, I'm sure he will be fast. Uh, but yeah, we just have to go out and have fun, and hopefully we can put down some good stage times. First on the road is Patrick Sandell and co-driver Per Omquist. Fresh off his third place championship finish in Rallycross, Sandell now has his eyes set on winning his third rally of the year. The junior world rally champion is at home in a rally car, and these routes have served him well in America. Every event is new to him, so it takes a stage or two to completely trust his pace notes. But they're pushing hard already. Next up, the champions. With Tour de Forest being a new event, they also lack experience on these roads. A slight distraction off the start, but then they get down to business. David commits completely to the notes and earns a 13-second lead after two stages. For Sandell, the early stages went well, but he knows he needs to step up the pace. He can't let Higgins and Drew get too far away this early. He claws back nearly 10 seconds on stage three. With no championship on the line, the straight fight both teams were hoping for is developing. Higgins and Drew respond with another stage win, bumping their lead back up to six seconds. The two Subarus close out the opening leg of the rally in first and second. With Travis Pastrana's schedule preventing a full-time title defense in 2018, Subaru looked to their roster of world-class talent to share driving duties in the second car. This year I'm racing three different teammates who've got nothing to lose. We're mixing things up. We have drivers that are very accomplished in rallying and we want to showcase their efforts as well. It's put me in a pretty difficult position because obviously I want to go out there and show that I can still be the quickest driver but at the same time, I'm the one that's going to have to bag the points and make sure we bring the championship home. With a wealth of rally pedigree, there was little doubt that all the drivers could meet the challenge. 
but there would be a steep learning curve. Former Subaru World Rally Team driver Chris Atkinson was quick in the opening round, but one pass recce, combined with the high-speed roads at STPR, would leave him on the back foot. It's just inevitable. You're going to have the odd lift where you're not quite sure whether the note's 100%. And it's those ones between flat in six and not quite flat in six that make the difference. Pastrana would once again push his teammate to the limit. Uh, it's going to take some kind of an issue with David for us to win, but we're going to keep pushing to try to give him the best chance of having it. But Higgins and Drew weathered the attack. Those guys, they knew when they had to turn it on, they turned it on and, and that was the rally. You know him so well, David Higgins and his co-driver Craig Drew. It was Patrick Sandell who would prove the biggest challenge. I just have a big smile on my face. It's so amazing to be back in a rally car. For Higgins and Drew, the long-term focus on the championship contrasted with their desire to beat their teammates. When you're accustomed to winning, and all of a sudden you've got new drivers up against you in the same machinery as you're driving, it, the pressure is on. The driver that David is, he always wants to have competition. That's why we get into this sport, because it's all based upon competition. The more you're on top, which David's been here, the harder it is, not the easier it is, because now people expect you to win. But we have to remember that Higgins was here for the long term. Maturity and self-control would prove to be their biggest asset in 2018, leading them to their seventh championship title together. I think, and putting words in David's mouth, that he wants the competition to be level, and then he's, he's happy. Bring it on. Back in Washington State, both Subarus returned to service for a brief pause in the high-speed battle. I need to add more turning into it than, than I should. So the car is not following my steering. The turning is good, I set the car, but then I have to go like that to get a car to turn me forward. We went for a big push on the first stage of the, of the service and were able to take 10 seconds back. That felt really good. I had though, a few moments in there, so I know if I'm gonna beat that time on the second loop, I, uh, yeah, I need to really push. And, and I felt maybe I was a little bit over the limit, so we took it a little bit more easy on the next one, but then he took two seconds back, so definitely the pace is high this weekend. I used everything we have, you know, the whole road, a bit of the ditch, and, and really tried to go as fast as possible. And on some places, for sure, I was a bit, a bit uh, lucky that I didn't hit anything in the ditch. I thought Patrick had been off a few times on the third stage we just did, but he was actually going fast, going off. So um, I backed off a little bit because I saw some car parts and things and he took 10 seconds back, so um, we then went back into the next stage and took like three, three seconds back again, so it's a proper good race. Both drivers smile for the camera, but under the helmet, the game face takes hold. Like any professional driver, their one goal is to step into the car and win, especially against a teammate in equal machinery. Both these cars intend on ending their season in the winner circle. Sandell resumes the pressure. He wants to end the day with a lead and will put everything on the line to make that happen. With his teammate running behind him, he doesn't have the luxury of reading their lines. He must rely on experience to set a pace that rides the fine line between speed and disaster. Higgins and Drew are ready for the fight. But it's clear they've got a problem. Flat left past junction, is that literally it? Yeah. Oh, taking a piss. A mechanical issue sees their lead disappear. All they can do is limp through the stage and hope to regroup. Into left too long. 40. Got this way worse than I was expecting. They ultimately drop two minutes to their teammates by the end of the first day of competition. And ignition, Charlie. Thank you. Good and bad, really. All the, all the save-ups, you ran clean. We were really fast, had good times on them. 
um, just kicking ourselves a bit that we had the problem where we lost um, over two minutes. Other than that, we, we ran quick and had some good times, but it's um, it's too much of a gap to try and pull it back. It just seems to be that Patrick seems to be getting the, the look of the Swedish, and every time he jumps in the car, it all falls into place for him. But there's still time to try and do our best to, to, to stop his, his run of three wins anyway. As the team navigated the 2018 season, the campaign was joined by well-known guest drivers. It wasn't just the rally program that featured new faces. The rallycross team also enjoyed some variety. Yeah, we're in a unique position this year where we have a third car that doesn't have a set driver for it, so it makes it really interesting. The feedback you get and the interaction between the drivers and engineers, it's a new face and a new brain thinking about things, so we learn a lot from those guys as well. From David Higgins making a return to Rallycross at Silverstone. Just going out there and trying to put on a good show for the home fans. And Travis Pastrana at the first ARX round on American soil and Nitro World Games. Kicks a butt all day long. Formula One champion Jacques Villeneuve. It was just good to get back into that, you know, that, that yeah. mode and sweating for a reason. And Rallycross champion Tomas Heikkinen. Thank you for the weekend, it's just a great experience. Thank you. Each stepped in with limited testing. Each found speed with relative ease. For them to get in and turn the times that they did, you know, never being in the car before was, was pretty impressive. It's great, you know, it shows us that we've got the pace in the car. Their experience added to the development of the car. You have a third guy jump in the car, and instantly, instantly, it's a, an outside look at where things are at. And their appearances made waves through local media stories and on-track performance. And while the guest driver program kept people talking, it was the move made immediately after the season that made the biggest waves. The signing of a high-profile third driver for 2019 was kept quiet as the final round came to its conclusion. After the event, team owner Lance Smith pulled the entire team into the trailer and let them in on the news. One of the things we decided to do next year was we're gonna have a three-car team with the same drivers every time. The main reaction we get is uh, mouth drops, you know. Wow. It was a little bit of almost a shock that it was an option. It gives us a lot of momentum to keep pushing in the direction that we've been working. For us to have him is a huge confidence boost. He's especially good on tarmac, and that brings a, a new element to a team that uh, has a background in rallying. We're all trying to put the best package together, and uh, you know he's somebody that can help us do that. A couple years of some bad luck. I mean, it's it's bound to turn around, and. I think things are going to happen for us this year. Yeah, this is a really cool moment where it all begins. The 2019 Rallycross program has been years in the making. This team, filled with resilience and dedication, and with the cars clearly approaching their potential, will mount their biggest push for the Rallycross championship title. In Washington, Classic Northwest weather greets the final day of the ARA season. For Patrick Sandell, the weather doesn't change his plans. He has the luxury of a two minute lead and can take a more conservative approach to the day. Avoid damaging the car and manage the timesheet through the remaining 44 stage miles. For Higgins and Drew, the mission is the opposite. They need to increase the pressure and push Sandell into a mistake. It's a long shot, but it's the only play they have left. The number 75 Subaru is back in form. Both Subarus return to service after the morning stages. Very best this morning. First stage was really good. Second stage as well um, was that one was tricky because it was a uh, was grass in the middle of the of the road the whole time. So as soon as you 
kind of went a little bit sideways the rear just snapped and you went completely sideways but still I, I took it a bit easy it was still fine last stage I stole the engine in one of the hairpins so I lost maybe 10 seconds there but except that it's been a good morning just try to control the lead and, uh, and bring it home it's been one of the great stories of the season no one ever doubted Patrick's rally pedigree but the ease in which he got up to speed on the American stages was impressive Um, yeah, really difficult first loop to be honest. We've um, we're still experienced some issue with the, the the drive train. So we've like if we use a handbrake and then let go of the handbrake, we have no drive at all. It's certainly making it pretty sketchy and giving us a few moments out there. But our times have been good, but it's not easy for sure. But Higgins isn't giving up the fight. Just a few stage miles remain before the off season. And this team has spent the entire year working on the long game. Just remember, break the left six turn half and right two minus. Now, they're free to push the limit. 50. The worst enough, right. Left six, then late right four at yellow. Then right five. A rare moment. Oh. And their season ends prematurely. Last that done. Okay. Sandell, unaware of his teammates' misfortune, pushes on to his third win of the season. Three in a row. As one team celebrates on the West Coast, Another major milestone occurs on the other side of the country. The rallycross trucks have completed their journey from Texas to Vermont and arrive at their new home for the first time. With construction now complete, this building represents more than just a new roof over their heads. It's the manifestation of the building blocks that have been laid, layer by layer. Congratulations to our overall winners. If you miss the extremes, it's that. A whole new world for rallycross and we just have to keep fighting now. Building blocks that took decades to conceive and years to build. And we'll build on this for the future of the company. Rallying and Rallycross deserves a building this big and never in the 50 years I've been involved in rallying, no way have we ever been that big. I think it's gonna allow us to up our game. I mean, everything that we do well, I think we're just gonna try and do better. It's a beautiful space. It's going to be really nice to work in, and I also think it's a great showpiece for Vermont sports car and, and what we can do. We're looking forward to it. We're still moving in, but we've got it. It's a good platform, and we hope to be here for a long time. So moving to this building, I think we will be able to do all of our jobs better. Now, as the rally team looks to continue their long run of championships, the Rallycross program is poised for its greatest year yet. Every season has its own tale. But the overarching story of this team, this dedicated group, homegrown and world-class, is their tireless drive for more. The passion that everybody has um, for the sport and trying to push the cars to be better and doesn't get boring, it's just, it's always a new day. There has to be the passion for the motorsport and, and the drive, and otherwise you wouldn't do it. I think the adrenaline level of when you go to a race and, and you know the struggle of getting there and then you have success. It draws you back to do it again. <laughs> it's not like going to an office where you're in a cubicle looking at a screen every day. It's always changing. It's something that you, you do because you enjoy doing it. it, it it's, not, it's, it's not really a job. It's kind of who you are more than anything. It all collides in 2019. The possibilities are the brightest they've ever been. Not only are we coming back with a, a bigger and better lineup next year, we're coming back with a whole new team look, basically going back to the colors that people associate with the Subaru brand. Um, we're gonna look like, like Subaru. No doubt in my mind, this is a year for Subaru and Vermont sports car. I can't wait, I just can't wait till tomorrow, you know, let's start again, let's keep going. So it's good. This is Launch Control.